We're presenting at this year's ASH data from the Optimum Mach 9 trial, which is, to our knowledge, one of the first positive readout trials that shows uh, an improved way of treating patients with ultra high risk disease. So for this trial, we really uh, revisited the um, way how we identify ultra-high-risk disease based on validated genetic risk markers. And we decided, based on the evidence that is there, to use a combination of genetic risk markers, so th those that have two or more high-risk markers, which we also call double hit, and those that have uh, gene expression higher risk and or. And we wanted to also include the group of plasma cell leukemia patients, which we feel is really underserved. And the disease is so rare that it's very difficult to run the trial only for these patients. And because they share similarities with these ultra high risk patients defined by genetic tests, we included them in the trial as well. Um, because it is very difficult to randomize patients in such an ultra high risk trial though, we had to adopt a really novel approach. It's very difficult, we found, to tell patients that they have ultra high risk disease, but then actually randomize them to standard of care, which is the way how we find out whether treatment works better, because we know that standard of care treatment unfortunately leads to not so good results in these patients. So we adopted something that was developed originally for rare diseases, which is called um, a um, virtual comparator trial. But we re refined it because we know that some of these approaches are coming under criticism. And we used highest quality data of a phase three randomized controlled trial that had just about uh, been conducted to compare the outcomes against. And we actually, in both our new trial and the data set that we compared against, uh, identified the patients using the same genetic tests. So we only compared the ultra high risk patients against the ultra high risk patients. And that avoided that the patient had to be randomized. We actually had a very, very good recruitment to the trial. It finished recruitment 10 months ahead of projection showing the high unmet need for these patients. And what we're presenting here at this ASH is the primary endpoint analysis, which is already a progression free survival analysis at 18 months between those treated in the new trial. And these patients received a novel innovative combination therapy with daratumumab, velcage, revlimid, and dexamethasone, and low-dose cyclophosphamide, then a transplant, and actually intensified maintenance and consolidation of that response that they are getting with uh, Dara VRD post-transplant for over a year, and then Dara R maintenance therapy after that. Um, and that is compared against the myeloma 11 treatment, which included as well carfilzomib, revlimid, dexamethasone, low dose cyclophosphamide, a transplant, and revlimid maintenance therapy, which we think is pretty much really a standard of care treatment as a PI in a combination therapy. So the really, really encouraging result here is that we did see a significant improvement of progression-free survival. Um, as this is a Bayesian trial, the readout is a little bit uh, unusual to what we have, but the chance of this new regimen being better than the old one is over 99%. Um, so we are very, very confident now that we have a regimen that we can particularly offer to patients with high-risk disease. And to our knowledge, that is the first time that we have such a strong message. So we really hope that that will benefit patients with ultra-high-risk disease, maybe the genetic way of identifying them as well, because we identify more patients with more precision. And we also hope that this new design of a digital comparator trial, was spare, which spares patients the randomization, but also leads to a faster result because fewer patients have to be included in the new trial, will find adoption uh, for addressing the unmet need of such groups.